Hello Sagittarius, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I'll send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need us to know at this current moment? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius, your current energy is the sun. I love it. Vibing high. If you guys aren't yet, you will be. So this is you stepping into, this is your energy, Sagittarius. I know the sun represents Leo, but Sagittarius are like very vibrant. They're optimistic, um, very positive. They're constantly like uplifting others. They're like this light. And it's like when they step into the room, it's like they just light up everyone else's life as well. But this is you. It's like finally releasing whatever was dimming your light and allowing your light to shine bright. Bright light shine bright. <laughs> so I really should see like you guys in this very like vibrant energy attracting a lot of positivity towards you. And that's because that's the energy you're putting out. Um, someone is getting out of like a dark energy that you were stuck in for some time. I'm not going to say stuck in, but you were working through. There was a lesson to learn in that energy. Okay, let's see. What's the current challenge or blockage for Sagittarius? Um, some of you guys also may have moved or you feel like you're in a place where you can be yourself. You don't feel like anything is holding you back where you currently are. It's like you finally found your place or you will be. What is the current challenge? Let me shuffle these real quick. What is the current challenge or the lower? Okay, let me shuffle this again. These some big cards, so bear with me, Sagittarius. Okay, what's the current challenge or blockage for Sagittarius? What's the current challenge or blockage for Sagittarius? Ten of Wands. Taking on too much responsibility. Learning to sit your butt down. Some of y'all are just like putting way too much on your plate. Like you're doing way too much and you just need to chill out. It's unnecessary burdens. It's unnecessary worry here. You're burdening yourself for no reason. Some of y'all may feel like you just have a lot going on. And look, her phone is ringing, but she's so distracted by all the messes going on, she doesn't even see it. She doesn't even realize the phone is ringing. So some of y'all could have someone trying to reach out to you or someone trying to get your attention, but you just have so much going on, it's like you're not even paying attention. Um... Some of y'all may also be staying up late as well. I don't know. Some of you, are some of y'all going back to school? You're working on something. It is something about you just having like a lot of responsibilities, a lot on your plate. But there's also an energy of unnecessary wor uh, worry, unnecessary burden as well. What is energy coming towards Sagittarius? Five of coins in the Knight of Cups. I'm getting like, so with this one, I don't get, uh, I don't get the typical message from the Five of Pentacles with this. I get someone coming out of a difficult situation financially with this Five of Pentacles. Um, it may attract a little jealousy as well because it looks like you have some people who want you to help them out or they're just jealous because you, I don't know, it's like something your life is changing but fi financially you're doing better as well and if you see like there are some people on the outside like hey what about me like why do they get that so that may be the energy you attract uh with what's taking place but i don't see like you being concerned about or being affected by it some of you guys didn't may not even be your finances because some of you guys may already be doing well financially some of you guys is just love some of you guys may have people jealous of a relationship that's coming into your life 
because whoever is coming into your life is someone that you will be traveling with you'll do a lot of exploring with someone who's as someone who is just as adventurous as you are Sagittarius and you may have some people like dang why does Sagittarius get that I want that I want that type of person or I want that those finances is someone who is looking at what you have and they want it so it's just some envy here with the color green as well um let's see what is the energy that Sagittarius is being guided to release what is the energy that Sagittarius is being guided to release seven of swords okay and that's why I'm getting your coming out of with the sun showing up in the current energy because I'm getting Sagittarius for some time you felt like you needed to just kind of like hide yourself from the world because you felt like you couldn't be yourself where you currently were or I don't know in some sort of environment you feel like you couldn't be yourself but you're coming out of that I am getting that you're finally stepping into this energy where you feel safe and comfortable to be yourself you're allowing your light to shine bright and it's attracting a lot of positive positivity towards you but i'm getting like at some point you are in this energy of like survival mode like having to do whatever you needed to to do in order to survive learning to become more flexible and adaptable is what i'm getting but you're finally breaking free of that energy or you're finally able to come out of that energy what is Sagittarius being guided to focus on at this time? Temperance yourself. Finding peace within. Um, also, Sagittarius are natural um, alchemists. So learning to transmute energy. Really working with your natural ability, Sagittarius. Let's see, uh, who's currently focused on Sagittarius? Who is the person focused on Sagittarius? Six of Wands, someone who puts you on a pedestal, someone who may view you as like their dream partner as well, someone who worships the ground that you walk on, someone who is amazed by you as well. We'll dive a little deeper into that. And what is the advice for Sagittarius? What is the advice for Sagittarius? King of Wands. Overall energy is the Seven of Cups. So there may be some confusion, some mixed emotions right now, Sagittarius. I'm getting that you are trying to re remain focused. Um, trying not to give in to your vices as well. But look, what, whatever your vices may be. It could be spending. It could be so many things. Um, but I'm getting that you're just trying to remain focused. It may be difficult for you because your emotions may feel like they're all over the place. But I am getting that that will be changing. With the Empress energy, I am getting that this is connected with the sun as well. This is you just like stepping into your, your natural, like loving and nurturing energy. And it's attracting so many people towards you. Some of you guys are natural healers. Let's see, messages, um, or let's get more messages for the sun. Tell me more about the sun. What else does Sagittarius need to know about the sun energy? Ten of Cups. Happily ever after. You are about to step into a very blessed period in your life, Sagittarius, with the sun and the Ten of Cups. I'm getting it starting with you stepping into the sun energy where you're just fully embracing who you are as a person. You're not afraid to be yourself. You're and you're also like showing other people like you, you're inspiring. Um, you're inspiring a lot of people, whether you realize it or not. But I am seeing I, some of you guys, you're not going to be single much longer. Because it looks like there's a very happy relationship because now, if I would have seen the Nine of Cups, I would assume that you would be single. But with the Ten of Cups, I'm getting that there is someone that's going to be in the picture with you. Clarify the Ten of Cups for me.
for I'm getting that there's a couple of things going on for you, Sagittarius. Now I keep seeing the nine of wands, so I am getting that you are in the wounded warrior energy, which going back to the seven of swords. This is why you felt the need to be flexible, adaptable. You couldn't be yourself because you need to be protective over your energy. Um, Six of Wands. I am getting that someone here may receive a lot of attention for something that they're doing. But I'm also getting someone coming into your life, Sagittarius, because look, the person that's focused on you is uh, their energy... Well, I'm getting like they're seeing you as the Six of Wands. And to clarify the Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands. So there is someone that is focused on you right now. Someone that you have attracted. Unless this is someone that's coming into your life very shortly. Some of you guys may not be aware of this person. But this is someone who puts you on a pedestal. Someone who thinks very highly of you. Someone who sees their happily ever after with you. Okay, clarify the Ten of Wands. I am getting Sagittarius as well. Like you will find yourself very shortly, very proud of yourself, something that you were able to achieve. And like you're looking over it like, wow, look at this. Because it's like, it's all about to make sense very shortly for someone. It's like, maybe things have been chaotic for you, but it's like, very shortly everything is falling into place it's like it's all about to make sense it's all coming together and i'm getting that you feel it you're going to feel it first because with the sun it's like we're not we're we're not that close to the sun you know we're close enough we still feel it so you're gonna feel this before it actually comes in and the way you'll know that you're feeling it is because you're just like skipping down the street. I don't know. You're you're liking this shell like energy. And I'm getting like you were like that. Like that's your natural state. It's like this innocent child like energy. But you're finally able to embrace that energy again. Um like when I was saying that I just got like uh, an image that just popped in my head and it was just like um, I want to say like an atom but it's like something that's so powerful it's like it's hard to con uh, contain the energy because I'm like getting something like when I was seeing it, it was just kind of like uh, levitated in the air it was like a ball it looks like it's on fire um, but it's just like so powerful. It's full of so much energy and it's, it's about to like just burst. And that's why I'm getting like you are. Like you have so much energy that you've been trying your hardest to contain. But now it's like there's no holding you back anymore. That's why I think. Let me write this down so I don't forget it. <laughs> Okay, I had to write that down because I'll forget later on. Okay, clarify the Ten of Wands. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Knight of Swords and Page of Pentacles. Okay, Sagittarius, something is coming in or someone is coming in hot and ready with the Knight of Swords. Page of Pentacles, I am getting good news when it comes to your finances as well. It's like you'll find yourself in a more stable place financially. Um... But there is some opportunity coming in. I'm getting in love and when it comes to your finances. But you may be kind of just like all over the place right now. But there is a change taking place. There is a change coming in. Okay. Now, I want to clarify a couple of these. Let me move this over here. We'll got get into that and I'm gonna move these together. Put advice up there. Yeah, I'll move that right there right now. Okay. Let me clarify these. The five of pentacles, knight of cups, and the three of wands. Temperance, okay. Eight of Swords. And the Chariot. 
King of Pentacles, you accomplishing some goal of yours financially. Some of y'all may also have the King of Pentacles checking you out. So someone who is established, someone who's doing very well for themselves financially, and someone who is looking uh, for a partner, someone to establish a home with, to build a home with. Okay, so let's dive into this. With the Five of Pentacles and the Temperance card, I am getting like there is a change taking place, Sagittarius. And this change that's taking place is like your luck is changing. That's what I'm getting. It's like that's how you would describe it. It's like your luck has changed is what I'm hearing. Um, with the temperance, it's going to allow you to, for one, step into your true authentic self. Um, and I'm getting this because like, I don't know. You don't feel like you have to impress anyone. You don't feel like you have to be on anyone's good side. You just feel like you can just be yourself. But whatever is taking place is bringing things back into balance for you. Because um, I'm getting like things have been like a little chaotic for you lately. Now, there's a relationship that keeps showing up here. With the Knight of Cups, I got the Eight of Swords as well. There's self-doubt when it comes to this relationship. You're questioning whether there's really any, any chemistry between you and this person. And I want to see why. Why is there self-doubt? Why the Eight of Swords? Five of Pentacles. Will of Fortune. Um, Sagittarius, I'm getting that there's an insane attraction between you and someone else. Or there will be an insane attraction, chemistry between you and someone else. The self-doubt is coming from you viewing yourself as not having anything to contribute to this relationship. And the only reason why I'm getting like you feel like you don't have anything to contribute to this relationship is because you feel like you're not in a good place financially at this moment. But your luck is about to change, Sagittarius. You're not going to be in this state for much longer is what I'm getting for someone. Things are about to change for you. There's growth and expansion with the three of wands. But again, I'm also getting like someone who's who's coming into your life that's going to get you out of your comfort zone or someone who's traveling and exploring with you. The chariot, whoever's coming in is someone who's on a mission. Let me get one more for the chariot and the three of wands. I am getting a lot of traveling going on because with the chariot and the three of wands, some of you guys could live at a distance from someone as well because both of these cars are about travel. Tell me more about the three of wands and the chariot. Four of wands. Page of cups. There is someone showing, there's a romantic love um interest showing up here Sagittarius for you with the four of wands and someone that you will I'm getting that you will really enjoy this person's company it's someone that you'll get along with very well and it's someone that you'll build a very solid and a uh, stable foundation with okay clarify the seven of swords clarify the seven of swords the moon, yes. Feeling like you need to keep yourself hidden from the world. This is the energy you're being guided to release. You don't have to keep yourself hidden from the world anymore, Sagittarius. Um, also, learning to take things slow. Uh, some of you guys may go from 0 to 100 very quick. Meaning like you're not giving uh, anyone anything. And then the next moment you're giving them everything. You're, you're telling them your entire life story. Take things slow. Slowly get to know people. Don't rush into things. Okay, clarify the temperance. Nine of swords. Knight of pentacles keeps wanting to pop out. And that's why I am getting a Sagittarius. It's like you learning to bring things into balance. You finding that peace within. Uh, no longer allowing your fears, your anxiety to get the best of you because you've learned to like find that peace within. So the temperance is all about uh, equilibrium, is finding that balance. So it, I'm getting like there's a Sagittarius that's learning to get their thoughts in check, to get their mind in check. So when you find yourself feeling overcome by your fears, anxiety, it's like you learn how to like snap out of that. 
Okay, let me clarify the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands. Two of Wands. And the Queen of Wands. And the Ace of Cups. I am getting that you are going to receive some exciting news. Quite possibly you've been waiting for this person to make a decision or this you you will be waiting for someone to make a decision here this is someone who puts you on a pedestal though they think very highly of you someone who's very attracted to you and someone who thinks like you're someone that they can have a great time with or you're someone that they do have a great time with but there is someone who is opening up their heart to you because there's a new beginning in love that's taking place okay let's see clarify the king of wands for sagittarius judgment and the king of wands i sagittarius um so with the advice i am getting that when you're being guided to take action some of y'all may allow the fear of uh people judging you um other people's opinions of you to hold you back and it's just the possibility of what someone could say. It's not what they are saying. It's like the possibility of what they could say, what they could do. And they don't want you to allow that to hold you back anymore. When you're inspired to take action, take that action and release whatever fears you're holding on to. And it looks like it's fears of judgment with judgment coming through. Okay, let's see. Let me pull one more message for you guys and we'll close this out. Final message for Sagittarius. Believe in the impossible, Sagittarius. And look at that. A new romantic cycle begins. I am getting like you are about to be amazed in the most amazing way. <laughs> is what I'm getting, Sagittarius. In love and just in life in general. Because I feel like there is a major accomplishment uh, for you here as well you have uh, happy times ahead and it looks like you're coming into this energy very shortly here so congratulations Sagittarius I know it's well deserved all right with that being said you all take care please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment this reading resonates 